हेलो अ वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम टूडे चंद्रना एलेकर एम ए सेकेंड इयर इंग्लिश यूनिवर्सिटी गड़चिरौली फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई वुड लाइक टू वेलकम टूडे चीफ गेस्ट एंड स्पीकर मिस्टर मिलिंग पाथर्डी सर असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ एम ए इंग्लिश इन नवजाबाई हिटकर्निक कॉलेज ब्रह्मपुरी and i would like to welcome dr joshi sir hod of pgtd english department bonwana city garchiroli and i would like to welcome today's all the faculty members and participants this is the eighth session of known as series 3.0 which is organized by faculty members pgtd english department Gondwana University, and today's topic is discovery on the lit woman literature in social movements. So once again, I welcome to all. Now we are going to start a session. I would like to request Mr. Patel Sir to start the session. Thank you. हेलो हेलो आई एम ऑडियोबल सर यस सर दिस सर नो इशू विद जस्ट गो हेड इज माय साउंड क्लियर यस सर ओके 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 सर आई एम सॉरी आई एम नॉट फैमिलियर विद दिस ऐप दैट्स व्हाई दिस प्रॉब्लम्स आर कमिंग for us okay so uh, shall i start my uh, topic yes sir go ahead okay 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 <clears throat> gondwana university gadchurili post graduate teaching department of english organizes online lecture series from 11th April to 24th April 2023 Dear friends congratulate post graduate teaching department of english gondwana university gadchuroli for organizing such lecture series for all the fraternities i would like to extend my to dr vivek joshi sir head of the department for giving me an opportunity to present my view on this platform i must thank to dr vaibhav mashram sir for kind for his kind cooperation i'm grateful to dr juari sir and uh, dr atul madam for giving me an uh, opportunity to present my view on this platform my dear students let's go towards our subject discourse on dalit women's literature in social movements as we know that there are many women writers including british african and indian women writers Mary Wollstonecraft of uh, British literature 
says हॅलो हॅलो सर माझा आवाज येतोय हो ओके 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 सॉरी फॉर डिस्टर्बन्स सर देर आर मेनी प्रॉब्लेम्स रिगार्डिंग दिस ऍप ओके सो ॲज यू नो दॅट मेरी ओल्डस्टोन क्राफ्ट हॅज डिस्क्राईब विमिन्स रायटिंग ती हॅज डिवायडेड we means writing in three different phases the first phase is a feminine phase in which woman writing imitate follow the image the male writing in their norms and uh, statements the second phase is a feminist phase in which a different and often a separate position was uh, making the third phase we have of women writing is feminist phase which has a different distinct female identity so as per these three categories we have to discuss that the first phase is regarding or concerned with the women writers as you know that women were banned they were not taking education and that's why whatever is written about her whatever is presented about her by a male writer so in this way we can say that the that the real experience of the women the suffering of the women the pain of the women may not presented by the male writer as we know that in the literature the every writer represents himself in the writing if the male writer is going to write about women in his writing he could not identify he could not present he could not convey women's feeling women's suffering and exploitation as she had or she has so the female or the first phase we have the feminine phase where the women writer followed imitated the male writers the second phase we have a feminine phase where the woman can take the education can convey their message in a simple sophisticated way they can present they can convey they can express their feeling their pain their suffering through the artificial we can say or through the standard norms the third phase we have a feminine phase in this phase the women writers are now educated they are 
the civilians of democratic country and they are asking questions to the male writer they are struggling for their identity they are struggling for their for their identity as well as tries to convey their message to the world the feminine writers asking the questions to the male writers that why the male writers have made their image as a secondary substitute as you know the women was substitute women was a secondary a role in the literature but nowadays we have seen nowadays we have the image of woman as a protagonist in the literature and that's why the feminist women writers the feminist women writers asking the questions to the male writers that why they have made the male writers have made their image subsidiary secondary or the other the problems of women throughout the world more or less similar but the image of women in social in the indian social context is different we know that how our society is divided into different four categories and women have their position as a secondary as a substitute and she feels the otherness so i have selected the topic for discussion here in this series the discourse of the lead women writers in social movements so the question before us who are the lead okay as we know that our society traditionally divided into four different categories the woman belong to the higher category she has the limitations though she belong to the second category or third category or the fourth category she has to play the role of secondary image she has to follow the male she has been exploited by the male she has created as a machine she has to perform her duty she doesn't have her right in this way woman is doubly exploited we have to see that how women is traditionally exploited as well as she is exploited by the family too she has to maintain her identity in this kind of crisis india is the country of many religions different culture various languages gender discrimination and the most important in human caste system caste is in born level for anyone who is born in india the division of society in different compartments even has many enter compartments no one is equal in our society every compartment of society has its value and role by birth being a part of such society 
where human being is not treated as human being woman has a role and status in such a compartment as i have told you those she belong to the higher category she has to she has to live a secondary in the family in the category the status of role of women is a traditionally well defined fixed and unchanged since women has been exploited cruelly she has lost her identity she plays many major roles but as a part of duty even her emotions and sentiments have no value before duty she had considered as child producing machine and serving family man has many dominating dominating on woman physically and mentally this is the real picture of our society that man has been dominating on woman physically and mentally as he got permission to rule over forcefully indian literature reflects women and her images transform from religious customs once image of women as oppressed dependent weak have posted pasted is dominated dominated by man our social reformers mahatma jyotiba phule and dr baba saheb ambedkar mahatma gandhi and other rebel against the tradition and the award freedom to women Shahu Maharaj declared 50 percentage reservation for backward classes in his region. Was the historical moment for Dalit. We will come on the point. Who is Dalit? Dalit is a word for oppressed and exploited people. As we know. that the condition of the dalit group category is different than the than the position of the black community in america because there are only one discrimination on the basis of color but we have a different kind of discrimination in our country there is a discrimination on the basis of the color there is a discrimination on the basis of the caste there is a discrimination on the basis of religion there is a discrimination on the basis of wealth there is a discrimination on the basis of region on languages so what there is a in grade gradation there are compartments within the compartments and women tries to keep her position in such male dominated dominated society dalit is a word for oppressed and exploited people the word is known from the work of dr baba saheb ambedkar his literature he writes about dalit dominated oppressed and inhuman inhumanly treated class of indian caste system one of the great writers 
of the moment, Mr. Yamyan Wan Khede encompasses Dalit as all those who toil and are exploited and oppressed. To start with, very definition of Dalit, Dr. Gangadhar Pantaune, the editor of Ashpinda Darsh. I don't know whether you are familiar with this name, but Dr. Gangadhar Pantaune is well known, was well known Marathi writer and a critic. He has defined in his Asmita Darsh, Asmita Darsh is a periodical. He writes, he says, he defines the term Dalit. To me, Dalit is not a caste. He is a man exploited by the social and economic traditions of his country. He does not believe in God, rebirth, soul, holy books, teaching separation, separatism, fetch, and heaven because they have made a slave. He does not believe in humanism. Dalit is a symbol of change and revolution. Through this definition, we have to see that how Dalit community, how Dalit class was created by the dominant class. Dalit literature emerged prominently after 1960, beginning with Marathi language than other Indian languages. Nowadays, we have Dalit literature, translated Dalit literature into English language. It was started through poem, short stories, and most prominently, autobiographies. These are the major genre in our literature. The lit writers have incorporated their own experience of otherness in their literature. Though they were exploited economically, they were exploited physically and mentally, they hesitate against such kind of discrimination. We have Devi Kamle, Shantabai Dani were leading figures of the time. Arjun Dangre, one of the great critics in Dalit literature. In his essay, Dalit literature, past, present, and future, he pointed out that we can separate the literature from stream of literature. Although non-Dalit writers such as Ravidarat Tagore, the great Indian-English writer whose Gitanjali is the famous poem Premchan Mulkraj Anan and Kabir. These are the great prominent writers who have incorporated and presented sufferings of untouchability in their writing. But 
they never been considered as dalit writers <clears throat> because the experience the suffering the agony which dalit writers have been suffering are not the experience of these writers their literature undoubtedly against the caste system but their literature was not strongly violently struggling against the caste system as dalit literature dalit writers themselves are either victims or witness to social inequalities and violence most of them directly or indirectly connected with social political and cultural organizations of dalit as the great writer pudalekar in his view imply that direct experience of suffering by the author himself render more authenticity in the delineations of tanks and arrows as to cities she was abused and suffered more than the man religiously see woman is representing as goddess in the holy religious book but in reality she is in curse she remains silent from ages to ages feminism in the literature basically started after the social movement of mahatma jyotirao phule and dr baba saheb ambedkar they are the emancipators of the indian women but how many of women consider and create them as leader ideal maker of new women image is the question it is so harmful if someone created if someone turned towards the slavery again women has been suffering from the sufferer woman is doubly doubly exploited physically and mentally she has to tolerate panic experience of life she never comments on, on her pain because dominators are her own we have example of our family that our mother can't convey her idea before the father so the the dominators belongs to her family he is a man on this occasion i would like to share the historical speech of dr baba saheb ambedkar on the on the event of mahad satyagraha in 1927 more than 5000 men and women who have gathered with sticks in hand the sticks being the symbol of the mahars caste based labor for women who were present at the mahar satyagraha it is dr baba saheb ambedkar speech at the women's meeting organized in the winning 
that remains in their memory. What Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar says to women, I quote, the problems of living have to be tackled by me and women together. If men alone undertake these tasks, what kind of task? Annihilation of caste. They will. I have no doubt take a longer time. If women, however, take this up, I believe that the task can be successfully completed sooner. Therefore, you must attend the Parishadas. The task of ending untouchability is a women's question. You gave birth to us and you know how people grade us and treat us even lower than animals. Unquote. You must think and realize that you have such, you have much character and purity as Brahman we mean. In fact, the courage and will to act that you possess, even the Brahman women lacks, then why must children born to you be insulted? You have not given this a thought. Or else you would have organized a satyagraha. If you think this over, you will either have to stop giving birth or resolve to wash off the stigma. So take a oath that you will not live with stigma. Give up your old habits. It is these customs that make the stigma of untouchability. This is the speech of Dr. Babasam Ambedkar to women. And the first generation, generation of the women followed the idea of the development of women image given by Dr. Babasam Ambedkar. Women recall that this speech had a tremendous impact on women and as a result many women gave up the bad habits. The meeting created a cadre of women leaders and a kind of women's Maila Mandal moment emerged. Savitri Bai Borade and Ambobai Gaikwad were appointed members on the executive committee of Janta, the theoretical, started by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar in 1930. This is, a this is a historical speech for the Dalit women. They have to come forward with men for abolizing the caste system, which is imposed to live for down to down. Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar guided the direction of human life. It is important to recall here that Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar had coined the term Dalit in 1928 in his writing in Bhaskrit Bharat. And concept of Dalit literature came to be accepted by all of us. Most of the recently published Dalit writings are autobiographical in nature. Translator and teacher Arun Mukherjee argues that biographies are not soft stories, but stories of anger against injustice. Babara Bagul, a leading Dalit intellectual, has explained how Dalit literature is not 
defined by anguish, wetting, and sorrow alone. But it is a historical necessity in promoting human freedom. Okay, Bedeker, a leading Marxist scholar, had also mapped the direction of the literature as moving from the art, from the articulation of the experience of humiliation to humanism and from agitation to transformation. Dr. Baba Ambedkar said in Constitutional Assembly that democracy is offered to India. It should be known that democracy is not new for India. It was exist in Bhikkhu Sangha's parliaments. We are not accepting anything new for country. Liberty, equality, and fraternity are the principles of our democracy. Thoughts of Dr. Babasa Ambedkar on women education are the inspiration for Dalit women for equality and liberty. Women are living free life on the basis of education. Education is must to develop mentally and physically. Women are living life as human beings. Women writers have started writing for social welfare. Although the number of women writers is less than male writers, but whatever the writing they have produced to fulfill the prime motto of social development. Women writers begin writing to abolish the caste system by taking the oath of 22 with the place given by Dr. Babsa Ambedkar. The lead women writing is not for entertainment, but it is a struggle against the discrimination as a woman. Woman writing after the acceptance of Buddhism leads towards the humanism. The lead women writers are the memories of ancestor and realistic experience. As we know, here, in this topic, I have divided Dalit women writers into two different categories. Philosophical, and the second one, story, poetry, and autobiographical. Dalit women writers can also be divided into two different ways. The little women writers before the conversion in Buddhism and the little women writers after the conversion of Buddhism. They were mainly periodically during the Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar time, Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar started Muknaik, Vaiskrut Bharat, Janta, Samta, Dalit Bandhu, Dalit Sevak for social awareness. There are a few women, there are a few women writers who had contributed their view in simple manner. Tarabai Dongre was one of them. She has written story namely Mahir Saparwas. Basically, the late literature originally written in Marathi and translated into English. Tarabai Dongre <coughs> wrote Mahir Pravas, a painful description of Lady Manjula, who lost her child for drinking water. 
पब्लिश इन जनता पेराडिकल ऑन डेटेड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट जनवरी नाइनटीन थर्टी नाइन द अदर राइटर वॉज सव शारदाबाई चौहान हर स्टोरी वॉज नेमली महार द स्टोरी ऑफ विडो वुमन हु टॉट हर सन बट ड्यू टू डिस्क्रिमिनेशन ऑन द कास्ट he was beaten hard by the people the story was published in janta there was another story bandwali jai in this story beautiful lady of community was sexually exploited by company owner she was helpless because of lower caste person's wife she had surrendered herself due to the exploitation of caste system the question remains is she a woman the stories of earlier writer depicted the agony in their life life slavery and gender inequality physically and mentally exploitation being a woman the identity and representation of her views existence role development all are far away from the life she has to throw away her Horizontal identity as weaker and exploited. She must be free from the tradition and custom and superstition of society. She has to be free from the shackles of religious practices. Women writers were written on the prime goal of liberty. The earlier women writer writing were full of sadness. of self experience she tries to free from such religious prison it should be considered that women writings are not the platforms of expressing sadness suffering but to show that women should education women should try to free from the custom these are the examples of awareness for the need education is must and the key of success everyone should take the opportunity of educational benefit which leads to freedom equality these writings become the source of social change changes society women started thinking of freedom equality and their status this is one of the biggest revolutionary social movement activity began in the form of women writing shrimati sugandhabai sende was the leading writer of women freedom on the moment her writing was in the form of words priya bhagini was the value of poetry of her in her poems she appealed all the exploited women to wake up from the darkness of life and forward towards the light of education education only can change our attitude of life which is necessary of changing lives sugandha bai sende was represented a woman who knows the educational importance another prominent writer of the time was hira bansore her poems describe the painfulness of society 
and argued on the issues and problems of society. Her poems, Eshodara, Surodaya, and Firad and are well known. Hira Bansore said that exploitation of women due to caste and gender is old. But still they are the victims of man dominated culture. She should get her freedom and status as equal to man. There were, there were a philosophical writers who were actively participated in Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar's movement. They were Shantabai Dani, leading Dalit women writer, Professor Kumud Paude, Nilini Larke, Dr. Asha Thorath, Professor Aruna Lokhande, Nalini Shamkuar, Urmila Pawar, Minakshi Moon, Professor Usha Borkar, Professor Pratima Ingole, Usha Bhalera, and others are the prominent writers, women, Dalit women writers. Pradna Lokhande is remarkable writer of poetical form. Her poems depicted Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar's thought on women empowerment and inspired the new generation for empowerment. Her poems reflected social and cultural revolution started by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar. There is another poet by the teaching profession, Dr. Pratima Ahire, sensible but revolutionary poet of our generation after conversion of Buddhism. Her poems are full of social justice, women equality in every field. Her street show showed Samtesa is significant for new identity of women formulated by Lord Buddha and Dr. Bhavasa Ambedkar. <clears throat> it is important to mention Alka Chandrasekhar for her Mukya Pakra Chief Thave. Her contribution in women freedom is remarkable. Professor Aruna Lokhande from Aurangabad contributed intellectual writing for women freedom. Her Lokhande Patte, Patshagandha are well known translated writings in Marathi. These two translated writings focuses on the chastity of women by the male-dominated classes. These two writings are based on physical exploitation on the basis of patriarchy. Lokhande Patti symbolizes the belongingness of male mentality. Dr. Sushila Mill, well-known professor of Pali language and Buddhism, is a social activist and writer, Dr. Sushila Mool, wrote novel, Sambuddha. She describes the women problems in Indian contest. Other writing of her was Datak, Datak Kalin Saityacha Adarsh, Hirigatha and others. Shantabai Dhani, one of the prominent writers of Dalit social movement, 
was directly associated with the Ambedkarite movement. She was one of the most known leaders of the movement throughout her life. Dani was involved in several phases of the movement from protest against Pune Pact in 1932 to working as secretary of the Nasik branch of Scheduled Caste Federalism, Scheduled Caste Federation. She was the president of Scheduled Caste Federation, Mahila Parishad at Kanpur. She traveled extensively in rural Maharashtra to strengthen the program of Ambedkar's Independent Labour Party and was actively involved in the movement for the for Dharmantar, conversion to Buddhism. Shantabai had countless encounters with caste discrimination. While in school, she recalls a particular incident in the fifth standard where the family of her father's friend had invited them to a feast. As the family belonged to upper Maratha caste, Shantabai and her father were served food in the cow shade. The conversion she had with her father that day become an important revelation of Shantabai's beginning at questioning the social reality. The conversion is as follows. My dear students, can you listen? Father said, we are Mahar. We can, how we can eat with them? They get polluted by our presence. What is pollution? Shantabai asked. We cannot teach them. What will happen if we teach them? What will happen if we touch them? What else will happen? The one who touches and the one touch will become thinner. What is sin? That which is not a good deed. What is a good deed? Father summarized in simple words that sin is a bad thing. Are we not human beings? Yes, of course we are, said the father. These people touch cats and dogs, then why not us? So in this present conversation, we can understand that how the small girl asks the question to the father that how she is dominated and discriminated by the caste. She doesn't know what is the scene. She doesn't know what is the caste. And she doesn't know how someone is polluted by touching. So, the Dalit writers are the writers who have their own experience of untouchability, inhuman inequalities, and that's why Dalit women is full of sorrows, sufferings, as well as agitation. Jyoti Lanjewar is well known Dalit writer and activist as a silent presence in the literary historical landscape. While she is known in many Dalit literary circles for her evocative writing, not much literature is dedicated to acknowledging her strikes in revolutionary the Dalit feminist consciousness. Her literary works include Disha, published in 1982, 
her most recent work is a collection of her selected poems titled red slogans on the green grass compiled and translated in english by her daughter dr aparna lanjewar she has been honored with many awards like the padma shri daya pawar jyoti lanjewar was born on 25th 1950 to a middle class dalit family in nagpur since her childhood she was encouraged by her family to emulate the ambedkarite principle of education to means to agitation jyoti lanjewar as a result grew up developing a deep consciousness of caste politics and praxis she alludes to this event in her poem mother here are some stanzas of her poem putting a five paisa coin on a little hand saying go it can be taking the little bundle from the cradle to your breast saying study become you ambedkar and let the baskets fall from my hand she followed the steps of dr ambedkar and went on receiving phd in marathi soon after so here on this topic i would like to discuss that how women were inspired motivated by the social welfare movements of dr baba saheb ambedkar jyoti lanjewar's poetic vision is shared shaped by her acute understanding of the interplay of caste and gender in the formation of dalit identity she uses her poetic license to carefully weave her story lightening the invaluable role of women in dalit movement she illustrates the exploitation of dalit women on double counts of caste and gender and constructs a new dalit feminist identity jyoti lanjewar's experience is further pronounced by ragging industrialism in the post independence india the turn of her poetry is present and sharp sharing through the fast of development and exposing the forces of capitalism that reset the dalits further into the margins she writes in her poems dark alley here are stanzas of her poem in this historical dark alley there is a four winged wada inside it on the weather battered walls some parrots sit routinely with them a few maina to inter interlocate on matters of private interest when open the heaven stone doors of the wada crack for some they are wide open for some shut fast jyoti lanjewar's poetry captures the dalit feminist experience that does away with the trope of passive endurance and builds a dalit feminist identity that actively resists and challenges 
is oppressive power structures. Dr. Kumut Paude, another women prominent writer, she was a reporter and she was always a clever girl. Her parents fired up with the indomitable courage. Dr. B. R. Ambedkar from into the Dalit community. Sent her to school knowing she will excel. I went through all manner of struggles throughout. Unquote. Dr. Kumud recalled. I hate crying. But I never cried. I just kept going back to class. Look at this. If such things are happen to the Dalit women writer, after the independence, yes. before, the, before the independence, Hello, sir. Hello. Ah, yes, Hello? sir. You are audible. Okay, okay. Thank you very much. Okay. So, shall I continue? Yes, sir. Yes. Hello. Okay, okay. Yes, sir. You can continue. So, okay. So, <clears throat> they humiliated her when she tried to drink water. They refused to let her participate in Haldi Kumkum ceremonies. But she just wouldn't have, wouldn't leave school. She attended class every day. She didn't miss a day of school. Look at that. If such condition happened with the with writers. After the independence, they suffered a lot, and that's why they have incorporated their own sadful experiences in their lives. Her brilliance was quickly evident. She became a chopper and began to excel in Sanskrit by the time she began college at that time. An idealistic young teacher, Motiram Paude, then running night schools for underprivileged children at the Islam College in Nagpur, was looking for young teachers like himself to teach poor children. Look at that. I'm talking about the writer. <clears throat> Kumdenu Paude. She was declared Sanskrit Pandit by the Nagpur Mahavidyalaya, finally retiring after uh, decades of teaching as a head of department of Sanskrit from government college Amravati. She became a member of All India Progressive Women Movement, the National Federation of Dalit Women and kept campaigning for Antarzati marriage. Managing facilitated over 300 such unions, those who play politics in the name of Vedas and Upanishadas have no idea of the text. In fact, the idea is to keep people ignored so they don't know what the text actually reveal, how liberty they are. So these are the some prominent Dalit women writers. Ashalata Kamle is one of the significant 
and prominent writers of the moment. He teaches literature at Mumbai University and regularly lectures on undescribed Buddhism around the state. Ashalata spoke to one interview. I quote, I write because, Ashalata says, quote, I write because as a child, I watched the population in anguish. I walked through thorny stretches, tall mountains and deep valleys and saw and felt the pain there. I touched that soft red soil, a pleasant touch, and experienced midday prickly heat. I was an eyewitness when my mother used to make bamboo baskets all night in the light of kerosene lamps, and then took them to the market in the early morning. I watch my mother and other women in Kokan go through hell. These women's woes have been permanently inscribed inside me and have formed a stock pill deep in my heart. I write because of their pain. Look at that. Here is the intention of the writers that they are trying to express, convey their, convey the uh, the uh, convey the suffering, the pain, the agony of the Dalit women writers who could not write. Ashalata Kamle, in her interview, says that why she is writing. Gradually, Ashalata is one of the dozen women in Mumbai today who publish Dalit literature. So the label Dalit is increasingly being replaced with. And with cried, or sometimes, though less frequently, non Buddhist Maharashtra Dalit feminist literary movement began in Mumbai in 1960, but it was not until the decade spanning 1985 to 1995 that Dalit women's voices truly began to be heard. So, dear friends, I think the time. Uh, Webo, sir? Webo, sir, shall I conclude my uh, speech? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes, sir, you okay, conclude okay. your speech. Uh, okay, okay. So, my dear friends, the intention behind taking this topic to discuss discourse on Dalit women's literature in social moments is that all who are the students of literature and writer tries to represent himself in the literature as Vika Rajwade historical writer one says that before writing, before reading any book, we'll have to read the name of the writer. Because the writer tries to incorporate, represent his own identity, his own experience in the book. And that's why the problems of Dalit male writers are different than the women writers. Because there is a discrimination on the basis of gender. The problems faced by the women of the Dalit community is different than the man belong to the Dalit community. Because she is doubly exploited. She is exploited traditionally as well as is exploited patriarchally or physically. So perhaps 
as a result of ambedkar's insistent and resounding call to his follower and especially women to pursue education a large majority of the community maharashtra now receives basic education and are now they have their literature and they share their feelings and agonies through the literature and available from the world i am very grateful to the head of the department dr vivek joshi sir who have given me an opportunity to to share my views on this occasion i extend my gratitude to dr vaibhav mashra and entire faculty members of the post graduate teaching department of english as well as i must thank to all the students and my colleagues fraternities uh, who have uh, listened me carefully thank you very much thank you very much sir over to vaibhav sir thank you sir thank you so much sir for your guide it is so important for us uh did did you have any doubts so ask to the question to sir asking uh chat and box okay okay dear friends uh, dear students <laughs> uh, if you don't have a question okay uh, we will summon up okay conclude the session please हेलो हेलो सर हेलो Ah, uh, please, please, ah, uh, please, ah, uh, repeat. What Could you please repeat this question? Major, huh, okay. What would be the major issue related to Dalit women literature? Dalit women literature. So, as you know, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, where uh, we have discussed about the. uh the problems of women as well as the dalit women writers because uh, the dalit women writers uh, have a different problems uh, than the uh, women writers uh, especially in uh, uh, those are uh, those are belong to a higher category or higher uh, class but the women writers who belong to dalit uh, dalit community have a different problems okay because uh, uh, because uh, they uh, they uh, they are uh, living in such a discriminated kind of uh, uh, category where she has to uh, she has to uh, live uh, in a in a very depressed uh, condition she has to face a different problems because uh, uh, she has to uh, uh, she is uh, she is dominated by the tradition by the tradition by the customs because uh, uh, she uh, uh, and that's why uh, she is also dominated by the gender okay 
he has to create she has to live she has to present herself as a as a secondary okay uh, because of the because of the tradition as well as a, uh, as well as the gender and that's why uh, the dalit women uh, uh, writer has a uh, different issues than the women writer women writer because the problems of dalit women writers is different than the women writers okay the problems of uh, uh english women writers is different than the indian women writers okay because there are the discrimination on the basis of different things in our uh, indian social context okay thank you hello sir one more question from sapna uh, how dalit feminism is defined How okay, so uh, as I as I told you that I have, I uh, okay, okay, I I I, I understand. Okay, uh, as I have told you that uh, I have divided uh, the writers into two different categories. That the writers who actually participated in the moments of Dr. Baba Sambhajkar. Okay, or we can divide the writers. before the conversion of buddhism because they were directly directly uh, attached with the movements of dr baba saheb ambedkar okay so the feminism okay the feminism uh, in this way that uh, they followed dr baba saheb ambedkar their thoughts and their uh, teaching okay and they they were dominated they were uh, uh, guided and uh, inspired by the thought of dr baba saheb Uh, one more question from Manisha: How Dalit women change transformation in literature and social movement? Okay, 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 okay. So uh, let's see that uh, we know that uh, uh, she is the conversion uh, from Bihar uh, uh, community to Buddhism. Dr. Baba Saheb Ambedkar on 14th October 1956. uh we have to, uh, we have transform ourselves uh, okay transform ourselves but actually what happens that uh, the education is the key of uh, development okay unless we do not have education we cannot change our uh, uh, thought okay and uh, living so to uh, to transform ourselves okay from the uh, from the uh, from the uh, from the generation or we can say that from the ancient time to now we can say that uh, uh, the education is the basis of a uh, transformation uh, the women writers uh, uh, women uh, of the community should uh, uh, should learn should take the education uh, should have a uh, should have a uh, thoughts okay of dr bal sambedkar all of the thoughts of dr bal sambedkar and all the social reformers to uh, to change in their life okay but nowadays we can see that how the women who are taking education and uh, they have a job and they have a salary but still okay they forgot the uh, they, uh, they they forgot the work of social reformers even we don't know what is the work of saitri bai phule we don't know what is the work of mahatma phule we don't know what is the contribution contribution of rama bai okay in a uh, in a dr baba sambedkar's life okay and that's why here we have to say that we have to remember we have to recall all the principles all the th- all the teachings of uh, such great personalities to transform our self okay but unfortunately uh, the condition is different the condition is different because uh, the women the educated women uh, women is uh, women uh, uh, change or uh, uh, remains uh, a super cities we can say that she turns herself towards the artificiality she turns uh, uh, herself towards the uh, towards the superstitious views okay so towards the un scientific views so this is uh, this is uh, uh, this is uh, the uh, uh, disgraceful condition of the women nowadays and that's why the real transformation would happen if she she accepts the uh, accept the real transformation uh, through the scientific way thank you uh sir i have one question yes ma'am. hello i am audible 
Actually, my question is based on the answer you have just given regarding the question asked by our student that uh, how a Dalit woman can bring transformation in society. And uh, you said that uh, the, convers uh, the conversion of uh, Mahar women okay, into educated one. Okay. So do you mean mm -hmm. only Buddhist, uh, the, only the women from Mahar communities or Buddhist community, mm -hmm. or do you mean the women from all strata of society? Because you mentioned okay, that. Now uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 especially now this topic is concerned with the Dalit women's man, and that's why I'm talking about the Dalit women's. Okay, especially uh, uh, but Dalit, the Dalit women, Buddhism. No, no, Dalit yes, women yes, yes, don't. Yes. don't uh, yes, it doesn't mean only the Buddhist women or women belong to Mahar community yes, or yes. Mahar Yes, 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 ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes. Dalit yes, ma'am. Yes, 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 yes. Dalit so, so, is Dalit, yes, yes, yes. So, Dalit so, so let me, let me, yes. Yes. Let, let me, okay, okay, yes, okay, uh, explain one thing that uh, I, you must be known to that definition made by Dalit Panther in 1979. Uh, Raja Dhali, the founder of Dalit Panther, he defined the word Dalit. Okay. He said Dalit uh, is uh, the person, whoever is oppressed to suffer. Dalit may be women, Dalit may be children, Dalit may be peasants, farmers, okay, workers, or anyone who is depressed. Okay. So here, uh, women means from all strata of society. Women can be a upper caste Hindu society's women, or she can be from any, any, from any strata of society. So we can't say that Dalit women mean only the women from lower caste or downtrodden or the list. What do you think? Yes, ma'am. Absolutely. Absolutely, ma'am. As you said that the lead word covers, okay, the lead women covers the whole uh, society. Of the, they represent the women of the all categories of the society. Okay. There is no problem for uh, the, such kind of things. Because already we have accepted that the Dalit word covers all the people who are exploited, okay, by the by the system, by the tradition. Okay, there is no issue about this. <clears throat> Sir, one question from my side. I'm audible. Yes, 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 yes. Sir, there is need to treat Indian feminism and Dalit feminism separately. Dalit feminism and Indian feminism separately. Okay, very interesting question uh, you have asked me that how to consider the women, uh, Indian feminism and Dalit feminism. Yes, well, how to consider create uh, these? Uh, uh, these are the two separate uh, uh, issues. Okay, because the issues of Indian women are different than the Dalit women because of the discrimination. As for my view. Huh? Hello? Sanjana. Thank you, sir. Uh, now, uh, I would like to call Satyanarayan for Satyanarayan Gidam for the vote of thanks. Over to Satyanarayan Gidam. Good morning to each one of you present here. I am Satyanarayan Geda, MA, first year, PGTT of English, Gondwana University, Garcholi. We have reached to the end of today, eighth season of No A series 3.0-2023. First of all, I would like to express my gratitude to our chair, chairperson of the program, Dr. Joshi sir organized a very beautiful and effectively session for us. I am extremely thankful to today chief guest and speaker, Dr. Milin Pathade sir, Nauzabai Hitkarni College Pramukuri for giving us a very thoughtful and ethical guidance and 
discuss a discourse on Dalit women's literature in social movements. Dr. Pathade sir have a very good information about about the how is the Dalit and Dalit women's and her identity identity and emotions. The definition about Dalit Gangadhar Panthavane Yugan uh, Yugan Vankhade in and in modern writer Arjun Dagade essays and uh, Mahar Satyagraha 1927 speech by uh, Ambit, Ambitkar sir uh, and, uh, and modern Dalit uh, writer in literature Tarabai Dongre, Shantabai Dani, Usha Borkare, uh, Usha Bhale Rao, Pradnya Lokhande and the the Padmashri Award, Daya Pawar. So thankful so much, sir, for the wonderful session. I would like to extend my uh, gratitude to the PGD of English faculty, organized team of No OS series 3.0, Dr. Vaibhav, sir, uh, Dr. Shilpa Athode, ma'am, Dr. Pramod Jaure, sir, for wonderful arrangement. I would like to thank all the participants of today's eighth session for attending and your cooperate and being the major part to make this session successful. I would also like to thank today's host Sanjana Yelikar for amazing hosting today's session. I would also thank every two giving me this opportunity to vote of thanks. Last but not the least, I would appreciate and thank everyone for your participation to make this NOAA series season successful. And here I declare this session is over. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Thank you, Atule, ma'am. Thank you, <laughs> Vashram, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Jawari, sir. Thank you, Masram sir. Thank you. Hello, sir. Was an eight minute summer. And camera on Kurundaga, photo card. I Camera on Kurunga.